Hey everybody, welcome to the Warhammer Quest Battle Report. I'm back today with uh, Skeggy Goldfist, um, the Barbarian Wolfric. We've got Wilhelm, the Witch Hunter, and of course Hawk the Pit Fighter on their next adventure um, into the uh, the unknown in the old world. So let's take a look at the crew, see what they're doing, um, and get this underway. All right, so here's the party ready to party. Um, after the last game, unfortunately, Hawk got drugged, so his toughness is down to three. Beat up a little bit. He's got 242 gold in the bank. Skeggy, the man, the legend, um, at 1516. Uh, he's got a second attack now. Um, he's hit battle level two. He's got some stone bread. Uh, his ring of seeking, so he can um, avoid traps. Blade of Leaping Bronze for plus two attacks. And a ring of Dodan for resurrection. So he always comes back to life. Um, so he can cast resurrection spell once per game. Uh, then we got the Man Legend Hawk, who of course is uh, is a bit jacked up. He's got a bandage and some provisions. He has the Frostblade for once per game. He just does a wound and kills somebody. Um, and then his uh, his usual stuff, his Gem of Life, keeps him alive forever. If he gets killed, it's hidden in a safe spot. So he just can't die now, which is cool. So Skaggy has a Resurrect. Um, we've got, sorry, I think the Resurrect is once, once not once per game, it's just once, period. Um, and then uh, Wolfric the Barbarian, he has a pretty cool axe as well. He has a once per game um, axe of slaying. It's D6 times D6 plus strength auto hits <laughs> once per game. His Sword of Stone right now is making him toughness 7. Uh, between his core toughness going up to 4 and then his furs. And then his plus 2 from the stone. So it, he's not the stabbiest still, but he's pretty good with killing. He got 2 provisions. Um, and then his Boots of Warg Skin, so once per game he gets plus two move if he wants, he goes to move in six. He's got 1560 in the bank, uh, he needs to get to four grand right into level again, everybody's at battle level two. And then there's Wilhelm, charged up his uh, six medallions um, for all those once per game abilities. He can, on a four plus, do some wounds, he can heal for d6 once per game on anybody. So he's kind of our healer, he's got the Holy Fire one too for a strength five hit. Uh, plus one strength, plus one attack, and then the Alcadizar one, which blinds people, does wounds, and reduces their attacks, which is kind of cool. And he's got the Hydra Blade, uh, for once per game, just D 66 wounds to somebody. Uh, and an Amulet of Null Magic for a 9 plus save against spells and stuff too, which is kind of cool. 900 gold away from leveling against. He's got like 3128 in the bank, so he's doing pretty good. And also, he won't get kicked out of town anymore, because he's got this cool book um, that allows him to go and uh, just read forever. <laughs> Faith is at seven, which is pretty good, so he can um, push his rolls up by, by one seven times. Although if it goes below two, he's got to test to see if his faith is shaken. So let's see where we're adventuring today as the party sets forth into the old world. To the fighting pits. All right, and then what are we doing in the fighting pits? A two. The last warrior to brave the perils of the fighting pit took a sword of great power to help him slay the Minotaur that dwelt within. However, despite the sword was destroyed by the Minotaur, um, this, despite the sword he was uh, destroyed by the Minotaur and his body was eaten. The sword now lies rusting at the bottom of the pit. In question, it was an ancient heirloom uh, from the Barbarian's father many years ago, and the Barbarian has sworn to get it back. He must therefore descend into the dungeon and kill the Minotaur himself. The other warriors may accompany him, but it must be the Barbarian who slays the beast and retrieves the sword. The only problem is that the Barbarian doesn't want any help with killing the Minotaur, not even magic. <laughs> okay. Of course, this means the Barbarian is the only warrior that manages to get any gold for killing the Minotaur. If the Barbarian manages to retrieve the sword, he, uh, while using it, he gets plus one in his roll to go Berserk. When the Warriors uh, reach their objective room, don't roll on the room table, um, as the following special rules apply. When the Warriors enter the pit, place a Minotaur on any square in the pit. The Minotaur will not climb out of the pit unless attacked by a warrior with a missile weapon or magic. The Minotaur's attacks uh, in the monster's phase as normal. Uh, it gets five extra wounds. Once defeated, we can get the sword and escape the dungeon. All right, a good old-fashioned boss fight. Hopefully won't result in multiple boss fights again like it has in the past. So let's see what our entryway is going to be. It's a uh, monster's lair. Oh, interesting. Maybe this was his house. He kidnapped us. Maybe we get ambushed in the first room, like always. Uh, let's see what happens. Power phase for turn one. <laughs> of course we do. What happens? An event. Always a characterful beginning. Three ogres! It is... <laughs> every time. It is uh, the monster's lair, so of course we're fighting three ogres. We just, like, drop through a hole in the ground into this room somehow. Let's see who doesn't get an ogre. Uh, Pogs away. It's gonna be... This one doesn't get an ogre. The wizard! So Wilhelm doesn't get an ogre. So the barbarian gets an ogre, the pit fighter gets an ogre, and the dwarf gets an ogre. Get ambushed, so they're gonna attack us right away, which is sweet. Um, and so we could move, but we're all pinned, so we're just gonna go right to fighting, I think. Does the barbarian freak out? Nope. Uh, he'll just get right to stabbing then. So he'll use just his, he likes his toughness seven, so he'll use his uh, rune of stone. 
And he's got one attack at weapon skill five now. Wait, no, is he weapon skill five? He's weapon skill four, I think. Three still, <laughs> four plus against the ogre. Hits. Toughness five, uh, instead of toughness four, he's strength four, toughness five, which is strange, because these are old school ogres. Um, so wounding on a five plus, he's strength four. Doesn't mean that's you all done. So <laughs> I guess we go over to the next size initiative, which will be Hawk. He's fighting a big guy. Hawk's gonna switch to his punch fist like he usually does. So plus two attacks, giving him four attacks total. Let's go four though, so hitting on threes. All hit. Oy. And then he has a strength of threes. It's minus two to these rolls, but 46 damage. He's got 13 wounds. Uh, that's not bad. Holy moly. So nothing. And then three. And then eight is 11, it's got two left. Any time, he just needs his great axe. Um, he does 2d6, sorry, weapon skill five, so yeah, it's 2d6 pick the highest, hitting on threes against the other that's fighting him. Both hit. Uh, he's strength three still, so 2d6 minus two, first one. Uh, so f uh, that's gonna be four damage, and then the second one, that's gonna be four damage again, so eight, so it's got five left. Wilhelm could maybe, He's not gonna kill the ogre in front of him, but he could oh, he could amulet it maybe. He could he could kill steal off Hawk. Which isn't a terrible idea because Hawk doesn't want to get hit right now because Hawk is tough as three. So mm, Yeah, but he could amulet. No, we want to save the amulet. No, we can't use the amulet against the boss anyway. Yeah, he'll use the amulet now. So just auto strength five hits, so just d6 damage. Two plus he'll kill it. He does. So he melts that. One amulet a holy fire for the game. Uh, so he's got. Four charges left on that. Give the swords to this guy. So he's weapon skill four now, which is cool. Uh, so just a, got a sword of ensorcelled iron. So he's plus one hit. So on a two, he gets him. And then strength three. So on a minus two to this, uh, that's gonna be uh, three damage. He's got ten left. I mean, he did better than Barbarian did. Who I realized I was trying to roll a wound, and he didn't need to roll a wound. He was just minus one to his wound roll. So he actually did, I think, two points of damage there because he rolled a three, I believe. Um, which would put him at an eight. He's rolling to wound there for a minute. I was <laughs> playing Warhammer Quest for a second. Um, and now the Ogres fight. There's a fear of five, actually. So could the Barbarian have fought? Yeah, he's fine. Could Hawk fight, battle level two? Yep. But Skeggy, battle level two. Yeah, he's fine. Wilhelm? Fine as well. These guys have two attacks at weapon skill three, and on a five plus, they do two damage dice. So let's see if uh, the first one hits old Skeggy. He's weapon skill three, so fours, two hits. Five plus, he's damaged two. Oh, he is. So toughness five, strength four, so minus one of these dice rolls. So the first one, two damage. The second one, four damage. So six damage total. So Skeggy goes from 19 to 13. Three, he's got his axe of regeneration. I want to attack in the Wolfric at the behest of his evil Minotaur leader. And on five plus, he's damaged too. No. Strength four against up to seven, so minus three. Three damage, it's down to 15. And that's a new turn, so Skaggy heals one, back up to 14. And then new power phase, oh my god. We don't get ambushed twice at least. All right, well, Frick, do you freak out? No. One attack on a three against that ogre. Hits, uh, d6 minus one damage. Strength four, three more, so he's down to five. Hawk, you can punch fist this guy with four attacks. On threes, they all hit. And then minus two to each of these rolls. So nothing, 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 and one. Uh, you punch him, but like very lightly, down to four. And then it's skeggy time. Two on threes, weapon skill five against weapon skill four. One hit, two d6 minus two. So I gotta get a six on one of these dice. Ah, uh, no, that's down to one. Three damage, because he's toughness five. So down to one left. So it's down to Wilhelm. I guess he's gonna try and kill this guy. <laughs> this last ogre on a two. He hits him. Minus two to this roll, so he can't actually roll a seven. Uh, but he could get him down to one wound. He gets it minus two, so two damage, down to three. While using faith on these. Uh, and we've overcome our fear already, so we didn't have to roll for that again. Uh, and now the ogres fight. So the two against uh, Wolfric. Hits once. Uh, is it uh, strong? It is, so 2d6 minus, he's up to seven, so minus three. Nothing. Two against Skeggy, one hit. Is he strong this turn? Nope, so just d6 minus one. Four damage. Down to 10. And then he goes back to 11 from his regenerating rune on his ax. And it's new turn. No ambush, let's go to this room. All right, sweet. Wolfric, kill this guy. You hit him. Uh, D6 minus one, four damage kills him, so Wolfric gets that kill. It's close to leveling. Is it Hawk or is it Skeggy? Neither, really. Uh, so we'll give it to Skeggy. Well, sorry, Skeggy does, or Hawk goes next no matter what. 
So four attacks for his punch fist on threes, three hits, and then minus two to these, two damage, kills me, only had one left. And so Hawk gets that one. Gold each, not too bad. Uh, and we finally get out of this room exploration phase. What's the next room? It's a T junction, of course it is. Last adventure went right, so this adventure, let's try going left. Power phase is good. I guess Wolfric can go just explore. One, two, three, four. And just get right over there. Hawk will go one, two, three, four. And follow up. And then Skeggy, one, two, three, four. And Wilhelm, one, two, three, four. Apparently Wilhelm would be there because he would go before Skeggy because he has a higher initiative. Well, exploring again. Let's see what's behind door number one. A corner. Well, that's convenient because I didn't want to have to go all the way across the table. In the entirety of Warhammer Quest 2, you only get a single corner piece. You get multiple T-junctions, but one corner piece. It's so weird. If you got two corner pieces, I guess the idea was you could, it was harder for you to turn off the table. But yeah, and you can still turn with corridors too because you can place the door anywhere on the three sides. But yeah, only getting one corner piece just feels weird. Um, and then another doorway at the end over here, of course. I feel like there should have been more than one corner piece. Maybe the idea was that when they play tested it, it caused the it caused the dungeon to scale off the board more than once, which can happen. Did we get ambushed again? Survey says no. Skeggy would heal to 13 and now 14 as well, actually, in those last two turns. Let's take a walk there, Wolfric. One, two, three, four. Keep exploring. One, two, three, four. Wilhelm, one, two, three, four. And Skeggy, one, two, three, four, jump there. And then we explore again. We go in Dungeroos to the Well of Doom. Uh-oh. Well, the power phase, do we get ambushed before the Well of Doom? Is it that doomy? No, it isn't. And sorry, another door on the other side over here. This is about Warhammer Quest. It always makes you feel like you need to lean across the whole table when you could easily just slide the dungeon towards you. <laughs> Which would have made much more sense. Move the cards and stuff and just move the dungeon towards you. Don't like lay down on the table while you're playing the game. Uh, yeah, so we gotta go, I guess, position ourselves. Wolfer's gonna go one in the corner, two, three, four, just in case he freaks out. Uh, one, two, three for Hawk. Wilhelm, one, two, three. And Skeggy's gonna go one, two, three, four. So you can potentially get surrounded. So the high toughness guys, they, don't, they can just soak the damage and hope for the good death blow. So what's our event? It's... Well, this is what I'm glad I'm playing with the tables and not just flipping this card because this would have been terrible. <laughs> Place the cave marker on the board. No, I won't. I'm going to roll for an event instead because we're not playing with that stupid card. So uh, green dice will be high. 44. Once all the warriors have entered this board section, the portcullis slams shut behind them, cutting them off. The only way forward is to retrace their steps. They have a key. Place the portcullis marker across the door they entered to show it's blocked and then draw another event card immediately. The boss knows we're here. Oh, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. This event card says there's no way back now. An encounter, so another roll on the charts. 63. Runes. The warriors notice that there's dozens of orc runes inscribed crudely on the wall of the room. Roll d6 for each warrior on a 5 or 6. They understand them, uh, and they reveal how, how to open a secret alcove in the wall. The alcove contains a cache of treasure. Make a dungeon room treasure table roll for every warrior. Oh, I forgot to make one for the minotaurs too, actually. As the warriors take the treasure, they hear the screams of an arranged monsters hurling towards them. Make two rolls on the monster table to see if the party's battle level. Determine whose treasure the warriors are stealing and who turns up to defend it. All right, so first let's make a dungeon room roll for the ogres, because I forgot to. 42 or 20. Sword of Stone again, another plus two toughness sword. Cool. Four rolls to see if we find the alcove. So, um, barbarian, do you find it? Yeah, maybe you just open right away. So for the barbarian, 43. For the pit fighter, 26. For um, Skeggy, 56, and for Wilhelm, 63. So Hawk found a Blade of Slicing, plus two wounds to every attack, what? It was a weapon, so we're good. For Wolfric, it's a magic item. For Skeggy, that's actually a treasure card, and then so for Wilhelm, it's a magic item as well. See then, this treasure card for Skeggy is a Finger of Doom Scroll. Uh, it can be taken by a wizard and used for a spell cast. So it's 450 gold for him. That's pretty cool. 43 for the magic item for Wolfric is gonna be a potion of water walking. Oh my god. Uh, after doing this potion you work and walk over areas of water at three times normal movement squares, lasts one turn. What does that even matter? So it's 100 gold. <laughs> and then 63 for Wilhelm. 
The Circle of Wrath for 400. The Circle that allows the wearer to enter a Blood Rage of Destruction. Uh, on a score of two or more, you get double your attacks. On a one, you get double your attacks, but you must move towards the nearest warrior if possible to attack him and fight them instead of a monster. It's once per adventure. And you may not be pinned when you're boy, berserk. He goes all Sigmar crazy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, now we gotta make two rolls on the monster able to see who attacks us. 54 and 26. I don't have any of those, but I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of these entries. So I'm just gonna roll 2d6 and add them together. So nine and 12. So that's gonna be Minotaurs and Ogres. And then three back from that. Well, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Down for Giant Rats is... <laughs> ogres. So two D3 <laughs> Ogres and D3 Minotaurs attack us. Two D3. Uh, so three uh, Minotaurs. Ogres. And then D3 Minotaurs. Two Minotaurs. It's a good thing we have all those murder weapons. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, this, this room just got real interesting. So who doesn't get an ogre? Let's see. The people who don't get an ogre is the wizard. So the Wilhelm doesn't get an ogre. So everybody else gets an ogre. Sweet. Ogre for you. <laughs> and ogre for you. And ogre for you. Uh, of course the portcullis dropped for just this reason. And then who doesn't get a minotaur? Two of these guys don't get minotaurs. You don't, the dwarf, and the wizard don't get minotaurs. So our hawk and the barbarian both get minotaurs. Feels like the scene where we all die. <laughs> okay. So then, uh, luckily, the, the end of turn has now happened. <laughs> so let's see in the power base. See if we get ambushed now. Maybe we can fit more monsters in this room. Base. No, no more monsters at least. Okay, barbarian, do you freak out? Not be a good time. Get extra attack. <laughs> Does nothing like an idiot. Oh my god. Well, at least I didn't leave anybody adjacent. So then it's Hawk's turn. You can probably kill a Minotaur? Let's see, I'm more scared of the Minotaur. You could do two attacks, or you could do your Punch Fist for four attacks. Do your Punch Fist for four attacks. Ah, no, hit the Ogre. Hit on threes against the Ogre. You can do it. Hit on threes. It's just better odds. Two hits, and then two at minus two. So four, five damage. That Ogre's got eight left. It's Wilhelm's turn. I guess he attacks the Minotaur. Uh, it's gonna attack Hawk, but might as well. He's got two attacks. No, he's got one attack. Never mind. He's just a just a dude. Um, but he can use his Circle to Wrath. He will on a two plus. Yep, it goes off. So he gets double his attacks now, um, and that gives him two on twos because of his Blade of Ensorcelled Iron. Two uh, d six minus one each. So five damage. Uh, four damage takes it down to. Ooh, 15 down to 11. Well, Skeggy, you might be able to actually kill this uh, Minotaur. And I think you're not as afraid of the Ogre, so you're going to attack him, I think. Two attacks on threes. Threes to hit, weapons go five, both hit. Six minus one, but pick the highest. So two damage, and then the second one. Oh, he's tripped on his beard. He's knocked prone. So the first one at least did two damage and take him to a nine. Well, that was a comedy of errors. Let's see if we live through this. Minotaurs, first one attacking Hawk on fours. Hits once, 2d6 minus, or plus one. Does 11 damage, he's got four left. And the ogre attacking Hawk on fours. Hits once, is he strong? Nope. So it's just plus one. Kill him? No, three damage, he's got one health left. Minotaur into uh, Wolfric. Hits twice. So top is seven though. So this is at minus three. So one damage, and then the second one, uh, five damage, six damage total. He's down to nine. And the ogre into Wolfric. Hit misses. Uh, the other ogre into Wolfric. Hits or into Skeggy. Hits once. Is he strong? He is. So two d six, but minus one. He's up five. Uh, eight damage into Skeggy. Goes down to seven left. Well, that wasn't great. Uh, I guess we'll pop a bandage for three on Hawk. That's his only bandage, up to four. He will heal for one, up to eight, because of his axe. And that is that. Turn. Let's uh, let's see if we can get attacked again. No. Do you freak out, Wolfric? You do! So two attacks. Uh, and he's actually plus one, he's the Berserker skill now, he's plus one to his Berserk roll. Um, so he actually does not have five, six, plus the number of models on his, um, card. Uh, so he's got one and two attacks now on fours. He'll attack the Minotaur, because it's more dangerous. 
And miss, job, buddy. All right, uh, kill this guy, Hawk. Two attacks on threes. Or four, sorry, four attacks on threes from his punching spike. And then it's uh, 3d6 minus two each. Uh, that should do it. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's got one left. Under one. Uh, you just need to do one more damage. You can just roll a three plus another die. So, Wilhelm. Oh, sorry, Skate gets up. Wilhelm's going to do a stab. Uh, his Circle of Wrath. Yeah, he's still good. Uh, hitting on th two is against the Minotaur. One hit. Uh, he'll use a Faith Point. Might as well. Take that to a two. It's faith left. And then it's minus one to these rolls. Uh, that's two... And five is seven, it's got two left. I'll use two more faith and kill this one. Faith remains, he can't fight the last boss anyway, but it gives him a Minotaur kill. And gets probably Skeggy to not die. And sorry, by Skeggy I meant uh, Hawk. And Skeggy can attack this ogre. Attacks on threes, weapons kill five. One. Uh, minus two to this, but two dice pick the highest. So four damage, got nine left. It's monster in time, does, uh, does this guy kill Hawk? No, he misses. So we're fighting Wolfric. Misses as well. Oh no, hits once actually. He's one skill three. Uh, two dice. This is minus three. So four damage. He's on the five. Uh, yeah, five left. Droger. Hits once. Uh, is he strong? Two dice minus three. Four more. He's got one left. And the one against Skeggy. One fours. Misses. Time to chew a provision there, bud. Down to one. Take uh, Get three health back. Hawk's gonna take a slug from his heal it potion. And get four back to eight. New round. No ambush. Sweet. Freak out there, Wolfric. Nope, no, no berserk this turn. So just one attack. A Minotaur. You do. Six damage. Four. It's not bad. It's got 11 left. Hawk's turn. Hawk's going to stab this ogre. He's got to do one. So four attacks on threes. Whoa. Kills him. Thank God. Wilhelm, I think you're going to go over here. So first, first, your helm of, or your thing of craziness. You're good. You'll move one. And then hit this Minotaur two attacks now because you're infuried uh, on twos. Mm, do I want to try and do something else here? Yeah, I'll use a Rune of Fury for plus one attack. So I have four attacks. Four attacks then because it gets plus one attack and then doubled for the the helm or the circlet rather. Uh, hitting on twos. So three hits. I'll faith that one as well. So I'm down to three faith. Strength three. So this is 46 minus one each one. I have to do 11 wins here to count. Oof, there we go. So t uh, 10, uh, 11, and then three more. I found a combo that actually makes Wilhelm dangerous now. <laughs> this is pretty good. That's his second Minotaur. He's just stabbed to death. All right, Skeggytron, you're not going to be able to kill this ogre in one go. So you're going to try and kill him when you're fighting. Get him. Two attacks on threes. One hit. Six. Pick the highest. Uh, minus one. So two damage. Takes it down to seven. And they fight back. Oh, I need to make fear test for all these guys. For the Barbarian, he was fine. Fuck. He was fine. For Wilhelm, he was fine. For Skeggy, he was fine. Minotaurs, um, Wilhelm attacked one, he was fine. And then uh, he, the other one was, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Barbarian Wolfric, he's fine too. All right, well, they fight back now. So attacking Skeggy, miss completely. Attacking Wolfric, hit once. Is he strong? No. That'll be D6 minus three damage, one damage. So he'll be down to two left. Skeggy. Heals again, and we'll chug our last provision here to get up to four. His health items, though. Uh, so, new round. Do we get ambushed again? Survey says no. Um, and the barbarian goes first. Does he freak out on a five because of his skill? He does. So, two attacks on that um, ogre on fours. Two hits. Two d6. Mob just minus one because toughness five, strength four. Uh, so, eight damage. Takes another five. Hawk's gonna go. He'll take a walk. Go one, two. And stab with his punch fist. Four attacks on threes. Weapon skill four against weapon skill three. And then um, minus one to these dice rolls. So nothing. Um, freaking out. Nope. He'll just take a step. He's only got two attacks now. Try and finish this guy off. Hitting on twos because of his blade of insertion iron. Both hit. six minus one each. So that's going to be eight damage. And that'll kill him. Wilhelm turned into just the one man wrecking crew, <laughs> apparently. Uh, Skeggy, kill this last ogre on threes. One hit, 2d6 pick the highest. Okay, uh, falls down. Gets punked by the ogre now. Hit once, and then is he strong? Yes, minus one. Does seven damage, down to two. Ugh. Heals to three at the end of the round. And how are we doing today? 
Not ambushed. Well, uh, I guess we go with, I mean, the barbarian has to go first. So he'll just go one, two. First, sorry, does he freak out? No, doesn't wound his own guys. Steps over here. You, you hit his friend. You didn't like that. Back on a three. Hits him. D6 minus one damage. Three damage. Takes him down to four. Goes one, two. Makes the fist stabs on threes. So let's go four. Four of them. Oh my god. Uh, D6 minus one. Roll five. Kill him. No, nothing. It doesn't fit, so he just shoots his pistol. Four plus, no. Uh, and then Skeggy gets up, humiliated. It's on threes, hits once, and then does he roll a five, six on either of these dice? <laughs> no, leaves him with a one. Unbelievably, the ogre is still alive uh, and gets to attack twice, hitting on fours. Hits once. Is he strong? No. It's like a comedy of errors with Wilhelm doing the best of the party. Uh, yeah, do we fight? Sorry, Skaggy heals to four now. Mm, Hawk will take another like nip from his flask. It's empty, he heals one, goes to nine. And then it's, do we get ambushed again? Survey says no. All right, get him, Wilhelm, or uh, Wolfric. So he does berserk, two attacks on threes. Hits twice. Should kill him, yep. Minus one kills him. Get it! We cleared the room, so that's gonna be, oh my god, 880, 1280? So he's earned 1680 this game? He was clearly drunk, earns nothing the entire game. Everybody else gets 400 for killing a couple ogres. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So you're done, uh, which means the other guys can just line up. We'll go one, we'll go one, two, three, and just one over to here. Everybody gets out of the way. And we're still locked in here. We get two rolls on the treasure table. So do we, what do we find for the first one? Three, that's going to be just a card. And the second one, also a card. So just two treasure cards. A lightning fire ring. Uh, can command a bolt of lightning. 5d6 wounds and no modifiers for armor. We'll give that to Wolfric to try and hit the last uh, boss with. An invisibility ring. Uh, you can move around as normal, but it can fight as normal. Cannot be attacked. Cool, one turn. Uh, we'll give that to Hawk. No, we'll give this, you know, he's got one, he's got one. He got a... Wilhelm didn't get anything else, it's Wilhelm's. All right, does something else come out of this room? The Well of Doom, no. So we get to move. One, two, one, one, one. Everybody lines up at the door. What was through this incredibly difficult room? Yeah, the fighting fit, of course. Sweet. That was the locker room and they were all just getting ready to go fight. We walked in and they were all like putting their pads on and stuff. Oh my God. So I like how sometimes the cards just give you exactly the right narrative. You know what I mean? You walk in, the port call slams, all the monsters are there. And then we go in here and there's more monsters. Well, let's just get it on. Uh, new turn. Uh, Skeggy heals to five. Hey, do we get ambushed in this room again? No. Wolfric, just get in there. One, two, three. Uh, Hawk's gonna go one, two. You just gotta watch and hope one, two, three. One, two, three. The barbarian doesn't want any help. Big Mama Jam's got 20 wounds, and we might just be able to end this quickly if we just zap him with this ring. Because once per adventure, lightning fire ring lasts forever. Um, we can just do 5d6 wounds or something. So let's see, do we get the, the ambush on? No, no ambush happens. So, bam, let's just hit him with it. Hit him with the hordes, Tony. Roll a 20 on 5d6. I mean, it's possible. We could roll 30, potentially. Do we do 20 wounds? Just walk in and go, this is for my father. And we do 10, <laughs> 20 wounds. <laughs> this is like at the end of the movie Wizards, where instead of having a big wizard fight, the wizard pulls out a, <laughs> a Colt 45 and just shoots the other wizard. Yeah, Wolfric, you avenged your father in the most unbarbarian like way ever. Dude looks like the, the Doom Warrior when he's all jacked up, or the Wolfenstein guy when he's all jacked up. He's bleeding out of every, like, every part of his face, his arms half hanging off. He wasn't having fun. He just killed like 17 men supposed to be here. He didn't have time for this guy at all. The, the, the whip versus scimitar fight in Indiana Jones. He was, he was done with, his day was over and he wants to go home. You know much? Let's make four rolls to see what happens. Uh, he gets the sword of power. He doesn't even care about it because it does, like, it's possible to his berserk rolls. He's already got that as a skill and he prefers being tough to seven. We'll roll on the, um, table though. So, 42 for the objective room table. Bane sword. As soon as your warrior finds this sword, make a d66 roll on the monster table. That's the same level as the warrior's battle level. The sword has times two damage against all monsters of that race. 
Interesting. Well, let's see what happens. So it's a 56. Savage Orcs and Savage Orc Shamans. It's an anti-orc uh, uh, sword. I'd rather have the 500 gold. Ian Toughness 7 is pretty great. <laughs> so that had uh, Skeggy Leave with an impressive 1966 in experience, uh, or sorry, in gold rather. Uh, Wolfric at 3600, getting close to battle level 3. Hawk at 1042, and Wilhelm, the star player at 4808. He's going to level up when he gets back to town, if he gets back to town. So four weeks of adventuring back to a town. Um, so first roll. 65. A storm, I lose a piece of treasure of my choice. We'll dump some junk treasure so the uh, Ring of Seeking can be gone from Skeggy. We're gonna lose the Boots of the Warg skin from Wolfric, the Invisibility Ring from Wilhelm, and unfortunately, the Blade of Plus Two to Wounds on Hawk. I wasn't giving up the Frostblade because it's way too good. Uh, and he doesn't have any, and the Gem of Life is also way too good. We're never getting rid of that ever. Second roll, 64. Fall, the lowest person trips their ankle and they have to drag him along. Uh, it costs him 30 gold and adds two weeks to the journey. It's... Wilhelm <laughs> loses 30. Loses us with four more rolls. 55. Wagon train. Uh, the lead wagon in the convoy pulls up along the warriors. Uh, if we, we save a week for D6 times 10 gold. If each warrior pays D6 times 10 gold. Yeah, it's more than worth it. Um, saving them a week of travel time. So that's going to be... 10... 40, 30, 40. Two rolls left. 32. Famine. The warriors travel as they pass through a lance curse by famine. Roll d6 for each warrior. Uh, on a one or two, we give away a treasure. On a three, we give away 100 gold. On a four or five, d6 times 10 gold. And then, touched by your kindness and concern, the village elder brings you a carefully wrapped sword. Uh, presenting it to you in exchange for d6 times 50 gold. It's a blade of sharpness for plus two wounds. It can never be sold, however. Uh, if one more player draws a six, I'll uh, draw a warrior counter to see who gets the sword. Hawk's gonna give away... Oh, nothing. He, uh, gets... Gives away d6 times 10. Wilhelm gets a sword. Costs him d6 times 50. So, 150. Sorry, and Hawk owes 30. Plus two wounds is actually really cool. Hitting on twos is nice now, but being able to do plus two wounds, only strength three is actually pretty handy with all the attacks he can have with his little amulet and stuff. Um, and then Skeggy... Also fights for the sword and uh, Wolfric. Ah, he gives away treasure. He's giving away his axe to slain because he likes the sword of stone a lot. Skeggy or the wizard who gets it? Whoever rolls higher. Skeggy, the wizard, or uh, Wolfric. Yeah, you'll just hand it back to him because that's not actually worth anything. <laughs> you made the gold, that's sweet. Kind of an expensive trip home. What's the last one? 22. Then full week and we make it to town. Fantastic. Well, so we got one guy who's got to train. That's going to be Wilhelm. So he's going to spend a week and then everybody's got to do something for a week. First things first, do you find the temple? Yeah, do. Uh, two adventures at least before you got to recharge any amulets. So I think you're just going to go right to training. That means you are hitting battle level three. You're a champion. So you become weapon skill four. Oh, you were already weapon skill four. Yeah, that's right. You were. I'm thinking of um, the barbarian. Strength four now though. Sweet. And then you get additional attack. Luck and D3 faith points. Three faith, two extra, go to nine. And what are my benefits of training? Five, six, D6 invocations and skills. Skills, roll a D6, I learn six, that's killing blow. Uh, the Witch Hunter judges the moment to strike perfectly and his blade slips through his opponent's armor, spearing his vital organs. The skill allows the Witch Hunter to cause an extra D6 wounds if his hit roll is a six. Oh, basically go trick. Six is to hit, give him D6 mortal wounds. Oh, hi. Amazing. Um, and then he gets the other thing, which is uh, invocations, D6 invocations. So they're all one use only. At the end of an adventure, any unused invocations are lost unless written in a holy book. An invocation is used up once it's been attempted. The witch hunter may not keep uh, trying until he's successful if written down in a holy book. Then each invocation will be kept until used. When spoken aloud, the word of uh, these invocations help burning in the air. And to see which ones you get, roll on the following table. Four, banish magic. Six of these. I get one. So I can banish magic once on a five plus. The best, not the worst. <laughs> All right, Hawk. So seven days, that's not a bad battle level three advancement. So you go down four grand, and that's going to put you at, uh, and then for another 70 because of the stuff that you've, you've cost here. So um, you're at 738 left. Hawk, you just want to lay low, man. I think you go drinking first, 
and then you just kind of lay low and roll to see what happens while your day's off. 42 bucks on your debt. Ah, oh, you put, wait, we have to do seven days. Uh, we need 14 <laughs> to pay for our living expenses. Mm, and we've already spent 40, so we have 1,002, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna be 14 for our living expenses for seven days. Well, let's go to the all. Rolling for the ale house. Well, the mad famed Wolverine Keeper offers you a wager that you cannot bet. If you accepts his wager, you must bet 200 gold in victory. Um, Griswold matches his bet, as will D3 other onlookers. When the winner uh, keeping the spoils, roll D6 to see what the result is. On a 4+, plus, we beat the crap out of this guy and get 200 plus D3 times 200 gold. This is what you trained all day for. Yeah, not bad. So you get D3, so you get 400 gold. Bad thing. And then what happens the rest of your day? 23. Fooled. Your worm has discarded a per thing and purchase you made in the settlement as it was fake and worth nothing. Modern thing, so we're fine. Um, so then we're gonna go to the general store. The alchemist. Do we find the alchemist? On a seven. Six plus? No. The rest of the day? 14? A good deed. Um, leaving most of his gold carefully stashed in the hotel. Your warrior goes into town taking D6 times 20 gold with him. And we get robbed. Sweet. So we lose 20 gold. A three. We go to the general store. 46. 10 to find it. Uh, oh no, we'd have to roll for the general store, never mind. Um, 46 will be our event after that. But we'll go buy some provisions and some bandages. A runaway? Oh, let's see what happens. The bulls, the bull gets away from us. Three? Uh, your warrior skulks in the shadows. And I get hit by an iron, and then I borrow this another 100 gold. Mugged a lot. <laughs> uh, so I've been mugged every day almost since I got there when I beat up someone. Uh, we need to get some bandages on a 7 plus. Yes, how many? There's five available, so for 250 I can buy some bandages. Yeah, I'll buy five bandages. Um, and then that was day three. Day four, we're gonna try and find the fighting school, which we do. What do we do there? Plus one to the table. 11. The old front here is visiting the fighting school. He will remove 2d6 times 20 gold from the debt total. Sweet. So our debts get reduced by, oh geez, uh, 200. We go to the armory and buy some stuff if we want. Hmm. Buy some heal it potions. Or I'll heal potion. We don't find one, so our heal potion's empty now. Uh, we're gonna look for knee spikes. We get them. Uh, and they are 160 to buy. Yeah. Give the double dragon knee. It's plus one strength. We're strength four when we do it, uh, which is sweet. And still plus two attacks. So it's like a better punch fist. What happens the rest of his day? This is day four. Uh oh. Accident. We can't do anything for D6 days. Three days, perfect. Well, we spend the rest of the time in a delightful coma. Skaggy, what happens to you? The ale house. Eight. An aging barbarian from Norska demonstrates your warrior how to cover yourself in pig fat. I can, I have a once per game pig fat, get out of jail free. The old pig fat trick. And then what happens? <laughs> 32? Mmm, some beautiful day. All right, six more days to go. So, I don't really need to do anything with him. Oh, you can go visit the dwarf quarter. You don't find it. 34. Riotous living, another 50 gold. Three. Uh, 12. Pickpocket, lose D6 times 20 gold. Sweet, another 20, so 70 gold I've lost. Four. 43. Join the watch. I guess I might as well join up. Don't have to pay my living expenses for the week and earn 20 gold. All right, so 20 more gold. And I didn't have to spend the rest of my week doing stuff. It's you, Wolfric. Go tell the story of how you lightning zap that guy. Eight? Uh, you learned the pig fat trick too. I guess you went drinking with Skeggy. Happens afterwards. 41. Oh, geez, we're going gambling. Uh, what happens? <laughs> Six? Got 3d6 times 10 gold. Uh, you earn another 90 gold. Day two? Uh, you're gonna go to the general store. Uh, which you don't have to roll to find. Um, but I guess you find bandages. You find that many, so that's gonna be four, 200 gold. Happens to you next. Double ones, thrown out of town. And so you fleeced by the guards? No, thank God, you would have lost half your gold. I mean, to be fair, it's a large shirtless man running through town covered in pig fat now, screaming about how he lightning zapped a minotaur to death, so I think the guards did the right thing. And so there we go, another adventure done and on the books. Wolfrey the Barbarian naked, covered in pig fat, thrown out for telling tall tales, uh, everybody else <laughs> having some various misadventures, but we're real close to leveling with Wolfric. Um, until we do, the party is battle level two, so I've got 
pretty much one more adventure I can do until um, I hit battle level three across the party. And then I got to paint some new monsters. I got to paint some crazy stuff to fight because they're getting pretty powerful. Although we did get fleeced for most of our magic items on the way out of that dungeon. It felt like a really good mission until we lost a whole bunch of stuff on the way out um, by just various like problems getting back to town. So all right, big thanks for watching. We'll see you for more Warhammer quests in the future. Till then, Ash. Happy Organizing. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.